uh, get your enjoyment out of it. I don't know yet. Did you do desert? You didn't know, man. Okay, okay. I thought about doing the corporate one, I think. It's, he's doing that? Maybe I'll do Street Kid. What? Okay. Right. Right. <laughs> oh well, that's fine. Yeah. Be good too. Maybe some Thai food or something. Or... Yeah, just something. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Yeah, I might. I don't know. I'm thinking about Nomad too, because that might be. You're right. I think I'll do Nomad actually. I think I'm gonna do Nomad as well. That seems right. Yeah, and then, you know, I think other playthroughs will be fun just to see how they start. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right, that seems like, uh, yeah. Right. Sounds too no bad. I'm V. I'm V. I'm V.
Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah.
Electric coupling module. You said it was nothing serious when I came in. You said you were sure. Basic mechanics of the game. Okay. Guess I was wrong. Can always look for another shop where they won't ask a lone nomad why he's hugging the border. My patience now. That's fine. Step aside. What? Got any idea what to do? <clears throat> I'm gonna bypass the coupling and rig a hot wire. Compressor will run on and on. It could seize up. Did anyone ask your opinion? Let's see what happens. It's 
like I was telling you. Not shabby at all. Questions how long it'll last you. Yeah, it'll get me to Night City. I figure something else out there. Right. Antenna on this heap don't seem like it packs a punch. Not liable to hear much. You don't say. Hey, Mike. Didn't know you had a customer. Uh, rolled in a few hours past. I I, I thought uh, he'd at least called in. Don't you swear to Mike. We're gonna hash it out. Don't you know you owe the sheriff a word when you pay his town a visit? To tell him what's brought you here. Maybe even over a cup of coffee. No need to worry. I won't be staying long. Didn't answer my question now, did you? Name's Andrew Jones. Probably heard of me. I can't say that I have. Served in spec ops during the last war. Silver showguns? Ring any bells? I can't say that it does. Don't like to get along, do ya? That nomad vehicle? Might have expected that. If you have a problem, I'm willing to hear it. Let me tell you what my problem is. Nothing boils my blood like a fucking stray. Where'd your clan pitch camp? Are you one of those who believe everything the talking heads say? The nomads are the world's greatest evil? No. I'm a man that respects order. Corpse brought us that order, and I intend for it to stay that way. The corpse pay you and have you on a leash like a dog. You know that? Mm-hmm. But you don't want to see me bear my fangs. So I'll ask again, where's your clan? There is no clan, there is no camp. I'm here alone. Ain't buying it. Nomads always stick to their packs. My family's in pieces. That's why I'm headed for Night City. Makes you an outcast among outcasts. Sure as hell hope you'll be on your way before long. I heard this place is famous for its hospitality. Glad to see it wasn't just rumors. You're damn right we are. When people come along who know how to behave. I'm sure he's definitely gonna let me use his radio tower. I sold broadcast and comms tower on my way in. My antenna's down, and I need to radio someone. What you need's to hightail it out of here without another word. Ain't got no mind to see you drifting around these parts. Got it? I made it clear. I don't want any trouble. Then stop looking for it and hit the road quick. Oh shit. Alright. Used to drive rigs. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh, I'm a real bad driver. All right. <laughs> uh. Whoops. motion blur. I do not like motion blur at all. Um, 
That's much better. I'm not, I don't feel so like I'm like drunk. message. Could you check for me? Hmm. Sure. Last time, though. I mean it. Client's name? Jackie Wells. Huh. Actually left a message. He's waiting on a farm. Flicking you the geolog data. <laughs> Thanks, Willie. I owe you one. You do. Just don't get yourself killed. And don't call again. Who wants to bet that cop is pissed that I'm up here? He saw me come up here. Especially after I rammed, you know, a passerby driving. to it.
worried I'd have to turn to farming. <laughs> yeah. Feeling tired? So hope you're here for me. Powerless. Not anymore. Experience all of Chromanticore's 16 new flavor. I believe I am. Make sense. Are you? Name's Jackie Wells. V. Seems you have cargo that needs to be moved. Oh, where I'm from, you share a bit about your soul before you talk biz. Right? It's kind of like a custom. Or just good manners, you know? Why don't we start with you, then? NC native, right here. Got Haywood in my blood. I've never been to NC. That doesn't mean much to me. So, imagine a place where everyone's like your bro or sis. Or a <laughs> distant cousin, at least. Yeah. <laughs> I think I understand. You don't have to like each other, but it's family. That's Haywood. That and everyone's back in iron. And you? I guess one could say I'm from my own Haywood. You and me, we're gonna get along fine. Okay. Cargo. What's inside? You sleep better the less you know. I got no idea myself, and that's a good thing. You don't know what we aim to smuggle? These are stolen corporate goods. Stolen? No. Oh, some gonk lost the crane. Some other gonk found it, passed it on. Now it's here. You know, butterfly effect or whatever. And there's no one looking for this crate. Ain't a problem if they look. Only a problem if they find it before it crosses the border, no? Let's load it in the car. thinking you might not come. I got held up. And you weren't exactly easy to find. I decided to lay low, you know? The sheriff looked like one grouchy motherfucker. Yep. Respect your clan, especially your family. You're worth as much as your word. Share with others in your clan. Respect the privacy and well being of your clan. Never put your clan in danger. Always take honest pay for honest work. Clan in that order. Do not steal from anyone in your clan. Do not keep for yourself that which may help another in your clan. and check our papers. Okay. I'll do the talking. Well, hopefully drive well. Perfect. What's that mean? Lost on arrival. It means the cargo is flagged as to be lost as soon as across the border. Oh, so they know we're smuggling. 
They're about to find out. The owner of the vehicle in the inspection area will report for further questioning. <sighs> Chingano Madre. What now? Relax. It's all in line with procedures. It's all part of the plan. Hey, guess you know what you're doing, huh? If we want the customs officer to turn a blind eye to our dubious dock use, we'll need a sweetener. Do you have the credit chip with the bribe? Oh, yeah. <laughs> forgot about that. Right. You forgot. I'll keep the engine running in case of a car club. Do that. South California. If you're armed, place your weapon here. Now please report to room number two. Please sit. Papers. Is this routine? It might be. We'll see. Hmm. What are you transporting? It's all in there. Everything? If anything's wrong, just say so. I'm sure we can figure it out. I haven't said anything yet. The question is, should I expect to find anything out of order? There's one additional enclosure to the manifest. Ah, yes. Remind me, you drive for which nomad clan? None. No clan. I drive for myself. Bold. And none too wise. You know, whenever I see someone like you, I'm oh so grateful not to be on that side of the table. The feeling's mutual. Go on now. Your associate's waiting for you in the car. Feels like a setup. Don't forget to take your personal items. Be careful with that toy. And welcome to Night City. Those little shits imagine Night City is some kind of paradise. What can you do? Young, naive, which is just a euphemism for ignorant. What happened in there? I'll tell you soon. We need to get out of here. Yeah, okay. Jackie, just drive. Someone's coming our way. This does not look good. Stop your vehicle immediately. Let's get out of here. On oh, it. shit. You are transporting contraband that is corporate property. I repeat, stop the car. Damn. Where are we going, mate? Alt, double tap, alt. Oh shit.
I may need the uh, controller. Sometimes these things happen. This? What kind of shit happens? Border security tipped off the corporation that we have their cargo. What's the deal with these borderlies flipping us the fingers they fucking please? With no consequences. He took a risk. He assumed we didn't have a clan backing us. And he was right. What? Pendejamente <laughs> ridículo. So what now? Maybe the drunken noodle? Yeah. Um... Hello. We've crossed the border. Now you pay me, and we go our separate ways. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. I'm a bit light. I can't pay you now. I have something for you once I collect my scrap for this corporal crap we're carrying. Huh. And you just figured I would sit by patiently. Actually, I wasn't gonna pay you at all. Just gonna bust ass and disappear as soon as we crossed over. But you're all right. I appreciate the honesty. Yeah, thanks. Vamos. Let's have a look inside this box. Sure, we can even get it open. Open it. Oh no, man. I don't know if your client's gonna be happy getting an open package. It usually means trouble. Fuck the client. You gotta start working for yourself sometime. No commission, no middleman. And I need to know what I'm selling if I'm gonna try to find a new buyer. Well, all right. Aw, oh, shit. It says Arasaka on the crate. We are robbing some heavy hitters. And maybe we'll make some heavy money. No mames. A real iguana. Hey, uh... Lesser Antillian, I think. Lesser Antill what? Yeah, I watched the thing on TV about them. Went extinct like 30 years ago. They're from the Lesser Antilles. you come a long way, my scaly friend. You think you can make some money on it? Sure. Think it'll make us happy. Us? Yeah, partner. We'll go half seas. Any decent fixer will find a loaded gonk interested in a rare gem like this. It's kind of a shame, though. I always wanted a pet. Got the name Manny all thought out. Hey, by the way, you uh, got any plans for what you'll be doing in Night City? Why do you ask? Because I got this feeling you got a lot of time and nothing to spend it on. And then see. Ain't a city that lets you get by without buddies. But don't you worry. Let me help you find digs. You gotta live somewhere. It's important to have people you can turn to. You know, like, uh, family. Maybe you'll find your own down in Night City. Thanks. Much appreciated. Hey, come on. It's nothing. They got chemistry, you and me. Be a crying shame to waste it. Partner. Hey! Oh. Cuddly little fucker. Oh, no. Okay, partner. 
Time to grab the lizard and scurry out of here. Ugh. Hello there, <laughs> Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! Ooh, I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals! But only half these gods will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one! And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Black Hand, and Waylon Boa Boa! The greater the risk, the bigger the bounty, kids! Or so they say! But you can only be a major league player for so long! The faster you live, the faster you burn out! If you don't get a bullet to the brain first! NC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard! Matters not where you're from! Matters not where you start! What matters here is the walk you walk! In Night City! The City of Dreams! The chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Yeah. Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because Ab Militech there. Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now, station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Hope. Let's blast through a tactical target practice program. You know, a little warm-up. Yeah, I didn't think you'd find that too tough. What do you say we crank it up a notch? Not bad. But it's more realistic if the target's packing iron. Quit standing around and take cover. Let's see, to crouch. You took a hit. Use a reanimator to patch yourself up. area when you're good to go. Let me see what this feels like. What the controller plugged in. Probably better. Up down. I can't do that right now. I can do this though. Uh ba 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 invert vertical axis. And then also do Up my field of view to like 90. I like 90. V, you're not a gonk brained Militech recruit. Get moving. Oh, 
Not, not inverted right now. Did I not save? Hold on. Controls. Oh, mouse. Right, 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 right. It's like, wait. This feels bad. Oh, my. Yeah, we'll just. You know what to do with me. on the platform. Hacking's the next item on the menu. You might notice I tweaked the course material a bit. This training module will teach you how to apply technological tools to combat. Work a little hack magic on the screen to distract the guard. Distract enemies, distract the guard, navigate the list with up and down. Kill all people. Causes it to distract people. Style over substance. Good. Now take him out quietly. All right, all yours. Take him out. Let's. Uh, Never smart to leave behind any trace of your handiwork, especially the dead kind. Now pick up the body and hide it somewhere. Try to take him down in one slick move. Okay. Think you're ready to try hacking some gonks in real time? Have fun! Pick Damon, you must recreate the code sequence by selecting characters from the code matrix. The characters you select will be visible in the buffer. Okay. The sequence required the upload. Okay, okay. So I need 55, 55, BD, 55. Okay. Okay. First row active, so. 55. It's like 55 from the code matrix. Okay. Activate rows and columns. Now. Okay. Detonate the grenade. Needed to shut. 
shut your brain down and follow orders in true Militech fashion. Under my wise command, you're a real champ. Take your spot on the podium. Not too shabby. Militech's algorithms put you on a decent run. Got additional modules if you want to hone any other skills. Or you finish up, dealt out now. But remember, the street's not going to give you any hints or second chances. Right. It's good to know all this. Right. So first, let's shape up those stealth skills. Cover. Quick. Nice. Nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Again, from the top. Okay. Not take that person down. Find cover, quick. <laughs> nice, nice. Now, move slowly towards the exit. Stay out of sight. Stealthy now, V. Nova, well done. On to the next area. Security cameras. Now the same thing, only with the camera. Gog-brained Militech recruit. Get moving! Nice work today. Okay. Just stand on the platform to exit the simp. All right, some Simple advanced enough. combat techniques for dessert. Then we wrap this party up. Time to get down and dirty in close quarter combat. Oh Take him down. But careful. Looks tough.
Okay, that'll do. Now maybe we find someone closer to your weight class. Things up from easy to normal. This next fool can block your attacks. Left kicker of the block just before getting hit. Ooh, nice. Now this fool loses his footing every time he swings. Use that. Get in there and land a counter punch. Okay. I like that. V, want to see this fool punch in air next? Don't let him land anything. Done well in mastering the way of the fool, young apprentice. I can teach you no more. This is the part where you face your final test. Show me what you've learned. Call that great. <laughs> Good luck, V.
Will Kako give you any tips and tricks for the job? I'm not your mother. Just do what I pay you for. It's easy work. Sha. Let's do this. Elevator. This way. Let's check something real quick. Responses. Dynamic. I just want this to be down just a smidge, I think. That feels a little bit better. Second yet, mate. I'm just picking up stuff. Sandra Dorsey is protected under Echelon 2 Corpo immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market say to take repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking.
possible, it's still very much possible. Even now as we are in the twilight of the 21st century, we as medical professionals have not been able to eliminate all the sides and effects that come with incorporating cybernetic elements into our bodies. Of course, everyone's familiar with the mental disorder most commonly referred to as cyberpsychosis, but it doesn't end there. Although advances in medical science for the very part of the century have reduced its incidence to a minimum, cyberware rejection can still occur in a small subset of the population. These unlucky few can experience a range of complications, but the following are the most prevalent. Immune response. The body rejects the implant, causing scar tissue to continue growing to the point that it causes pain and inflammation of surrounding tissue as well as possible interference with the text electrical circuits. Psychological effects. Neurological implants have the potential to cause unpredictable change in the brain. Possible side effects include depression, apathy, hallucinations, and sudden increases in addictive behaviors such as gambling. Implant overdependence. Long-term use of certain synthetic body part replacements can change the brain's chemistry to make it accustomed to a particular type of implant. There are reported cases of permanent blindness after patients attempted to replace their Kiroshi optical implants with different models. In the face of these known risks, what should our outlook be as consumers and medical professionals? To deny ourselves cybernetic enhancements on the 0.5% chance. We could lose our vision forever, or gamble away our life savings at the casino. The clear answer is no. Cyberware technology has elevated human biology to the point where the what-if arguments serve against our best interests. The best advice I can offer for minimizing your risk is to read the techno-medical profiles for all cyberware you intend to purchase before you install it. Industrial shutters. Asai, Sapporo, that realm, you know, something like that. Yeah. Now, which one are you talking about? This one? Thank you. 
Oh, yeah. See the one C. Easy. Um. Oh shit. Try that again.
That's fine. Pain editor of cyborg that reduces or entirely eliminates pain. That seems bad. Pain editor is a neural coprocessor that inhibits the signal sent from nociceptors to the parietal lobe of the brain, thus preventing feelings of pain in the users. Um. Create resistance to physical forms of torture and the ability to ignore pain and severe wounds, which can allow the user to continue to perform beyond the human limitations for a brief period. However, can undesirable side effects, heat of bowel. Some users are unaware of the severity of the wounds, which causes them to continue fighting without realizing they are dying. Um, the mortality rate of pain editor owners is above 60%. A group of terrorists detonated a nuclear bomb blowing Arasaka Tower to pieces. Early 2020s was a period of unrest for Night City and anti corporate sentiment was at an all time high. The Atlantis Club, Island of Resistance Against the Pirates of B. Special place in hell, Arasaka, the Japanese arms manufacturing Zaibatsu, that held the most influence over night study. The kinds of people who frequent the Atlantis felt that corporations had hijacked the future and turned people into consumer slaves and ironically deprived the two things capitalism most freedom and choice. People call themselves edge runners, position themselves against the corporate world order, and they declared that their own freedom in opposition to the status quo. But deprived of any peaceful way of meaningful change for what they called the system, they reached for a more radical method of self-expression, and these people were no strangers to violence. Oh, a hat. Now we're styling. Oh, I'm not level 2 yet. It's gonna look great, though. When I am level 2. Nice. Uh, go 
going on there? Fresh meat. Maybe you're likely to show up here again there in four cents, but child, that's not enough to try me other friend. We won't forget you're a dead man walking. Oh boy, this guy is in deep. Guide to Night City. Oh, there's like a whole. Oh, there's a whole net. Oh ho ho. Samurai web, Night Core. Oh, this game is ginormous actually mayor's office oh there's so much stuff to read okay I will have to do that at some point so I think we need to go there I don't know why I'm picking up all the cards, like they're gonna do something for me. Can I... No... Oh. Alright, bud. Jesus fucking Christ. Dead. Should be. I mean, I got a stomach of steel, but this. Oh, this. I wasn't made for this shit, you know. Chop shops. What they do to people. Fucking. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, Jack and Tor Biomon. Need to know what we're dealing with. Oh, Jacking in. Not look good. Sandra Dorset, NC five seven zero four four two. Trauma team platinum. Platinum. Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomon, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't see in this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural cord. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomon. Is that even safe? Can we just get her out of here? We found her still breathing. Can't lose her. We need that biomon working, checking for hemorrhages, whatever. Find that shard and yank it. Found the right. shard. Removing now. Check the biomon. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. We need to leave. Biomon claims Trom will be here in three minutes. Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. 
Thanks. Jack, look sharp. Not done yet. Don't know who's out there. Locked and ready, hermano. Do your thing. Oh, fuck. He's flatlined. B, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo. Fuck, this is bad. Hey, catch, Mato! I think. Holy shit, it worked. Where, cabron? Get her outside. How do I do that? Oh. Five steps back now. Oh, there, yes. TT one thirty three to control. Patient NC five seven O four four two secure. Stimulus being administered. Seventy milligrams dopamine. One hundred and ten to epinephrine. Eight hundred for prednisone. The fact that was all done in engine is just mind-boggling to me. Let's get out of here. The elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano, I got this thing. Mind if I wear all your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the med pro. How's it gonna look for me? Only if you hang a jack, but don't get used to it. You're saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako on the hollow. Tell her the job's done. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD is gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving.
feel pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. Oh, you can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. down to for the nerdist. Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? Uh, a heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold... ...understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. I'm gonna be worried sick if I don't show up. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. You're giving me a chance. I'm waiting. Mm. That's a shame. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. Took a liking to you. Devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gun. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm hmm. And unassuming. You get it. I'm not gonna skip. said hi. I will. Ahí luego. Good evening, Night City. My first guest tonight is Both. the president of the... Forgot earlier. A runner I know has something you could probably use. Relic. 
but maybe we ought to make sure our fair audience is up to speed. Karina, what is Relic exactly? In a word, if you could. In one word, I'd say immortality. Immortality? Really? That's right. Relic allows you to transfer the consciousness from a dying person, finding a new home for their soul on a transferable chip. This person, they'll never leave your side, a companion forever with you in your own consciousness. Just a child, child, think for a moment about what you're saying. This relic is an abomination that feeds on human misery. It is an unnatural likeness, a golden calf born by false prophets. Arasaka speaks of preserving the soul. But they can promise nothing more than a heartless, mindless algorithm speaking with the voice of the departed. What's more, this technology is just another tool of coercion and corruption. Only the wealthy and powerful elite will have access. And they will pay any price in exchange for a chance at this so-called immortality. Well, that is true that Arasaka Corp has specifically limited access to the relic in order... Your promise is a lie! An evil lie! Motivated by greed and... <laughs> now that is rich! Hey, excuse me? False promises, greed, a lust for power. Why, it sounds an awful lot like a church to... What? How dare you? Do you not promise a life after death? Do you not charge funeral fees to a family in mourning? Maybe the Reverend is just afraid of some healthy competition, huh? Competition? I don't know. You believe everything be. in this world can be counted, measured, rationalized. And wouldn't we be right? We can construct artificial brains, create new consciousness. But I ask you why? What does that give us? Are we as a people on this earth any happier for it? You claim that this relic gives eternal life. But all I see is an eternity of suffering. Rather than say goodbye, we haunt ourselves with their voices, their presence. What do you folks think? Who holds the truth? Is it Ms. Lee or maybe Reverend Kohler? That is up to you. Send Kohler or Lee to 7892 to cast your vote and enter your name for a chance to win tickets to this year's playoff. City! Until next time, Night City. What the fuck? Toodles. Right. <laughs> what, just something that gives you food? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, uh, with game reviews and stuff, I always take them with a grain of salt just because, I mean, that is their job to review games all the time. Oh, and again. a lot of times you're, it's more that you're trying to play the game as fast as possible to enjoy it oh, or, or, or to get your review right so you're you're playing the game as fast as possible to get your review out and so i feel like you don't get the time to like really take in all of like the little details necessarily so i want this machine right here this machine right here Sweet home. Let's 
just like LA. <laughs> Accessorize. Yeah, see? Mm. Oh, there's the samurai jacket. Always good. Health slowly regenerates during combat. It's probably good to have. Yeah, I think that's sort of what I think too, is that it, they get mired in like, whenever you start following the hype machine, you just, that's what you're always going to like, it, you know, you're gonna put your own like expectations on like how it should be developed rather than how it is being developed, if that makes sense. So. Uh, what got going on here? Damage, crit chance, rifles and submachine guns. Handguns seem important. Pistols and revolvers. Reload time. Damage. Hmm. Blades. Oh god, there's so much to read. Um, crafting and engineering arouses you to craft rare items. That is probably important. I feel like crafting is going to be very strong. I like that. Um, big sleep daemon. All cameras in the network for three minutes. That's pretty good. Reduces the physical resistance of all enemies in the network by 30% for three minutes. Also pretty good. Quick hacking. More damage. Recover four RAM units every 60 seconds. Be really good too. Movement speed by sneaking by 20%. Damage dealt by silenced weapons while sneaking. After defeating an enemy, gain cold blood for 10 seconds and increase movement speed by 2%. Stacks up to 1 times, but I think that. So, 
I'm gonna go ahead and get this one next time because I already used my perk point. I am so smart. Uh, attribute points. And I think I want to up. Oh, out of 20. Oh my. Um. <laughs> There's so many choices. That's why I'm just like, uh. That increases my armor, which seems important. That gives me health, though. Technical ability would probably be good, though this is also good. Technical ability. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Big map. Just ginormous map. This is just a city, too. Like, there's a whole desert. Which is a... Uh, its own thing, so. Yeah. It's just like LA. Um, crafting. Oh, God, I'm opening up menus and I'm just losing my mind right now. Uh, huh? Huh? Yes. So what do we have here? Oh, so I can craft some of these. Okay. Range weapons, cyberware, quick hacks, upgrades. Okay, that's its own thing. Did not do that yet. Mega Medicine Lottery! Buy two tickets, get the third for free! Thousands of prizes are still available! Drugs, reanimators, primary care appointments, surgery vouchers, blood screens, cyber psychosis vaccines, ripper doc referrals, and the grand prize, a one-year trauma team premium package! Hurry while well supplies last your neighbors already have their tickets, buy yours now! Do not click any emails with ads for penis enlargement nanogel. This is a scam. Ordinary gels cannot stimulate new cell growth. The only tested and proven method for penis enhancement is still the Aerosex hormone treatment. Our scientists at Aerosex have developed a formula that will dramatically increase the length and girth of your penis in only seven days. Join the thousands of other satisfied customers and order your kit today. <laughs> Thanks, Richard Towers, real customer. Malware detected, been attacked by three daemons, personal data, mm -hmm. uh, commit terrible crimes, uh, hostile networks can infiltrate your nervous system and force you to commit terrible crimes, such as fraudulent bank transfers, assault, theft, or armed robbery, suicide. <laughs> To protect yourself, click the Scan Now button. Hmm. Well, that's not good. I should obviously do that. Mm. should probably just grab these. Oh, I had hair. I swore I had hair. That's a face a mother could love, for sure. I really had hair whenever I did this. I did not go in bald that I know of, unless I didn't save it. It's fine, though. Yeah, I look like a real psycho. That's good. That's what I was going for. I can take a shower, okay. Flush. Okay. 
Oh, you can just get stuff in your thing. Oh, it's only a burrito. Um. Hungry for a new emo rush? Oh, food's here. I'm gonna get food. Yeah, I know, I had hair. So I don't know what happened. Well, it's been like six months. Maybe I like shaved my head or something. Anyway, I will be back in like three minutes. I'm gonna make some, I'm, we got Thai food. So I'm gonna eat Thai food real quick.
I am back. <laughs> uh oh. Your swear sold. Very nice. Are you still watching? I feel like a narcissist making it. Yeah, give the people what they want. I mean, you know, you take good photos, so use that to your advantage. Absolutely. Um New release brain dances. Brain dances maniac. Oh my. This brain dance season's been chock full horror, but this one stands out from the rest. Um Badlands Raid. Remake of a 2023 classes innovated toward it for the time. Uh, plot revolves around ordinary. Oh, so there's like. You are here. Good. Okay. Um, I'm going to turn off the music for now because the music's very loud. I don't know if it's very loud for you, but it's very loud to me. Also, I like that plush. That's a sick little plush. Uh, we're making rice right now, so I'm not actually eating it yet, but I am drinking a beer, which I feel like is, you know, a step in the right direction for enjoying this very, so far, impressive game, so. Alright, let's go check my weapon supply room. What the fuck? <laughs> By the way, you can come in and inspect my apartment, but this room, this room right here, yeah, there's nothing back here, don't. Don't look back here. Nothing in this room at all. Don't worry about it. Holy fuck. Okay. Um, yeah, let's look. Oh, it's my stash. Oh, I do have a katana. Oh. Oh. Just got some stuff. Okay, okay. I'm gonna take that out. And then I guess... Hold on, what is... Hold on. What is happening? I need to look at all this. Okay, find that. I need to get rid of the shotgun for the katana? Because, ooh, what beer are you having? I'm having a Golden Rail Golden State Cerveza. As it would be. Also, yeah, maybe, I had hair, right? Like, I totally had hair. Maybe it just doesn't render my, yeah, I have hair. Look at that. Totally have hair. Yeah, I have hair. I think it's just the hat, or the helmet. Right? Because, like, this is totally, like, Rick hair. I know. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Okay, so this is my stash, though, and I can store things here, and maybe I should? I'm just wondering, those are worse pants. These are better, okay. Oh, that's why I have equipped, yeah. Oh no, I will figure out that system later. I'm ready for a cutscene. <sighs> This is how I go to bed as well. Not even laying on my pillow, just dying on my bed. Yeah, we saw we saw Dome earlier. That's why I was very confused. Also, that is not how you sleep in a bed like that. Like, why would you not? Or maybe it is? Yeah, I mean, I guess so. I guess he just doesn't use pillows. He just died. Oh. Oh, Jesus. You get any sleep? No matter. Time you got up. I think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpus biomon. You know, a neurovirus or 
Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Yeah, throw on some threads, meet me downstairs. Okay. Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How'd you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, B. <laughs> Your words. Well, um. So what? You embarrassed? You will be surprised no, at what the virus is. It. What is it then? Just uh, later. All right. I got a clusterfuck on my hands right now. So you are a very nice city. Fucking gone piece of shit. Alright. NCPD! Open up! We got a call! We're here to help! We know you're in there! I think they'll just stand there forever? I bet they will. Wow. Rude ass fucking children in the future. Jesus. Don't forget your worth. Yeah, this is exactly what LA is like, Paige. It's what I live every day. Piece of shit, come on! You think you could pull off that outfit, Paige? That one right there. I do live in, well, you know, it's, it's the corporate, the corporate end times. This is a, yeah, I could see you wearing something like this. Be a sick outfit, actually. smell. True. Sweet it is not. Chum, you could boil shit in piss and it still smell better than this fucking dump. You fucking blind? Yeah, I'll give you inspo for your next post. Yeah. I felt like you could. I feel like this is like going to, you're, I'm going to see things from your wardrobe. Like, I feel like you've owned a jacket like that. Get an honest job. No, I think I feel like now you could just be like, I'm cyberpunking, and people would be like, Oh, I get it. Like that's that's your niche. How about a round or two? What do you say? What? You like my new punching bag? Just gave me a next gen ass whooping. He did. Be curious to see how he handles the likes of me. <laughs> so how about it? Um. Where'd you Where'd get him? you get him, Fred? Off the street. Saw him looking up at me with <laughs> big, sad eyes. So I took the poor pup in. Fed him, clothed him. <laughs> nah, for real. He's a military fox. Got a sweet deal, and a tumor of mine tossed in a few upgrades. Now, here we are. How's it going? Fight's about to start. I'm gonna watch, take notes. Malone versus Hernandez. <laughs> nah, our chrome friend here don't watch TV. Don't talk, neither. Only way he communicates is with them fists. Sure. Let's do this. Light on your feet. Keep that head moving. All right, you just step out of the round. Ow. Oh, right, double B. You got one hell of a punch there, Jim. Ever thought of monetizing it? I can arrange a fight or two. What do you say? 
go in the ring yourself. Not anymore. Skull's taking too much of a beating. Reflexes ain't what they used to be. There's ways of fixing that. Karenza cops should do the trick. I'd rather dish out my eddies for something else. It's time I started taking it easy. You mentioned something about fighting. Hmm. I've seen you land in blows of rain. Also, got sharp instinct, good edge. I mean, go far. yeah, I guess Especially that kind of makes sense that if I lived in like a, fights. you would have just like just sections that are elite. like, it's all like super uh, localized very for, uh, lucrative for who? like, uh, you, you know, buying Both things and, and living in these big apartment complexes and stuff. You know, you get the rest. I like making money. Oh, I get it. You want to get rich off my blood, sweat, and tears. Hey, you gotta make a buck somehow, right? Hold on. The battery sphere is in dire straits. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, Techno Rat Scourge. Battery Arena is now the final point of resistance against the invaders of Planet X. That is, until the legendary mercenary pro arrive and just in the nick of time after years of mysterious absence amidst the cigar smoke and glint of chrome armor dr havoc and radon slaughter scores of enemies without mercy after all who could possibly slow the mighty force of a laser armed mountain of muscle and his spit fire of a psychic who can transform into a sentient cloud of radioactive gas i'll tell you no one so far rose tenorio and martoni elazar elazar Take us into the world of computer games. First, imagine the best-selling novel *Kibble and Scop* by Abe Frost. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready for a roller coaster ride of comic book violence. If you ever wonder what the action of the Battery Arena may look like, *Doctor Havoc and Radon* is a must-buy. Dive in now. I'm giving it to you straight. Fights happen in different parts of the city. You choose oh. where you want to go. Put uh -huh. down eddies uh -huh. and start swinging. And when you take home the pot, sure. manage to drop every last one of them, you get a chance to fight the grand finale. Grand finale? Crystal. Good. Oh, except you won't be setting foot outside or what? Oh. Not yet. You can start in Kaboom. I believe in you, B. Time to show this city what you made of. Sure. Let's do it. How do I do that? Can I What have you got for sale? Oh, it's a vendor? Only top shelf gear. You're a vendor? Okay. Oh, oh my. Okay. Can I sell my shit? I can sell my shit. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go by quality. Yeah. I'm selling. I'm selling. Wait, I'm wearing those? Okay. Okay, so they're the little thing. Okay, I'm wearing those. Don't like that. That is better armor. Okay. That also has better armor. Okay. Hold on. Better armor? What's this look like? That looks pretty cool. Now that's a look. That is a look. Oh, is it all in one though? Okay, so what? If I wear that and then that? Okay, 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 okay. I think I can only wear... Right, because if I wear that... Oh no, I can wear both. Okay. That's a better look. Yeah. <laughs> All right. About those fights you mentioned. Uh huh. V V V. If you don't have a titanium skull lining, you're gonna have memory problems in no time. Fights happen in different parts of the city. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I get it. I get it. I get it. All right. Good talk. Good talk. Take home the crystal. Okay. Nature comes first. From the 
very first stages of food production. We bring you bought and milk quality that even Mother Nature can have. Try out our freshly developed new taste. Ah, uh, Second Amendment, my favorite gun store. Let's, Let's see have it. have a look. Dying Night. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. Oh, I can buy this with street cred? Is that what that's saying? Oh, a baseball bat. Ooh. I guess that would be non-lethal, but that would really fucking hurt to get hit by that. How much money do I have? I have a thousand. I have grenades. Don't wait. I'll wait. Right oh, oh collector gun from Wilson. 45 is this gun? Oh yeah, it has the quest marker on it. I see. Okay, I've grabbed it. Upgrading iconic items. You can use these to craft better quality versions of this item with a new version of an icon. Okay, the original item's destroyed. Upgrading improves their levels and stats. Oh, okay, so they're just like legacy weapons. Okay. Is that like the gun from, um... Blade Runner? Makes me wonder. Um, upgrades. To this thing. Ah, yes. Now I can't upgrade again, but it is still better. Okay. Sick. I should not have this out in public or that or that can I put these away fist yeah all right now let's just I just want to put my gun away my hands away I think it is it might not be though all right well let's go meet with Jackie I will say they do have like um like the TVs at the gas stations out here, which is really weird. So. It's time for your local news. The Aratama Matsuri Festival is nearly upon us. To mark the event, the streets of Night City will come alive with exquisite multi-story dashi floats. The festival program will also include musical performances by Biwa virtuosos and theatrical performances in the No tradition. The sponsor for the festival is the Arasaka Corporation. Uh huh. In an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. After the break, cyber psychosis, myth or reality? Stay tuned. True, probably. Gonna say true. Oh, so. Uh talk about yesterday it's all in the report oh i read it except there's no mention of me telling you to delta the fuck out of there yeah no biggie not like that cyber psycho was a tank on two chrome legs what the fuck were you thinking there's a reason max tack exists you know civilians were in danger what was i supposed to do just watch them get mowed down listen you, me, and every fucking cop in this city might as well be a civilian next to MaxTac. The day they give us the gear they're packing, go right ahead, be the hero, save the fucking day. But until then, you keep your head down and listen to hmm. me. That understood? I kind of wonder if I could, like, Facebook audio you in, maybe? That might be easier. Let me see if I can do something like that. Um, let 
Let's see what I can do for you. be able to hear you say something Hello. yeah you sound kind of far away so it's like yeah I don't know if I can change like the audio add on this to make it like where I can actually hear you um, yeah I don't know that this will work if you had like Discord or something, I could do that, but I don't think you have that. Yeah. <laughs> How's the audio? Not great. <laughs> Not great as it turns out. Okay. Oh god. Yes, I can actually hear you. Okay. Yeah, that was probably what was wrong because I answered it on my phone. So I was currently looking at my phone. I was like, this is probably the wrong choice. Right. It was like, no, I can't do this. <laughs> yeah, say something else. Let me just see if I can get my audio levels. Uh, I'm like hearing myself echoing back to myself. This reminds me of the days of video chat. Oh, right. I guess you might have to like slightly like maybe mute the or at least lower the audio on your I don't know or or I guess you're just gonna like hear it you know and we can drop in on senior talk to Jackie I love Jackie she didn't figure you as a type for Asian would have thought you'd find it too exotic what do you mean What's there not to like? Oh man, my Noodles? FPS is like dropping. Check. I don't know if Sin I can Sir actually Check. Get some more Chile action up in chat at the same time. I feel like I'm losing. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I can stream and do this at the same time. It might be that the Facebook audio is actually pulling too much. Yeah, if we had like Discord or something, that might work. But... I do have a Discord account actually, but I have to remember what it is. If you can figure that out, that would work, I think, best at least for me, because then I can put you, I can put you on my separate, like, chat, um, like, mixer, like, you'll be in a separate channel, so that way I can actually balance the audio. Okay, let me figure that out, because I'm pretty sure it remembers what my account Sweet, yeah, uh, just, you know, we're chatting right now, so, yeah, just let me know. I will talk to you soon. Technology. Technology. Alright. This is something about a surprise, yes. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both. You usually forget shit. But it just so happens. I think I might have bagged this a sweet ass J O B. Huh? Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but just that he's fronted by a little known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Oh 
only the top fixer in night fucking city. Badass black Jesus of the afterlife. Boy. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cooler. How'd you manage to pull this? Trading your spleen or something? As far as I know, we're not the type to get fingered by Dex. You know me? Oh, the T-Buck. She's the one that hooked us up. Got us talking. Knew it was a done deal the moment he laid eyes on me. Come on. Ain't nobody who can resist this. Am I right? <laughs> sure, Jack. Whatever you say. Dex to Deshaun. What's the latest spec on him? I know you got info to spill. He's been off the grid for about two years. Word on the street was to go to vacay. Two years? That's exile, not a vacation. What was he up to? Uh, guessing he shoved pizzas in his mouth while jerking off to hardcore virtues. Important thing is he's back. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, his whole deal, he's riding on you now, is he? Wait, 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 why gotta go? You and T-Bug draw straws without me? T-Bug and Dex go way back, and my face is yesterday's news. Oh, Dex says he needs to check you, talk to you. Okay. V, it's his job, his rules. I can't blame him for taking a personal approach. And it ain't as bad as you think, okay? Trust me. Guess I got no choice then. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is gonna leave his own. No, really, no. It's the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling. Said you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie they're climbing on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. wheels give them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust off the scabs thanks jack much appreciated <laughs> top-notch work miguel did rides like it looks factory new we'll see about that so we rolling or what let's feel this factory new on the gas, huh? I just ate. I don't 
Say you're right. So what? Should I just gouge out my optics? Thanks, but no thanks. You are beyond salvation, but not the children of the future. Life untainted by surgery of the sacrilege. We can yet save them. May the mothers shield their bodies. May the fathers instill their hatred for Crow. But who are those who follow our every step, you ask? Why the titans of entertainment in Alpha Centauri? Excuse me? In their wretchedness, they placate their weary and oppressed masses by putting our laughter, our tears, on full display! A real like in that show! We can't get next to him. I'll snap his until you are arresting him for revealing government secrets. Open your mind before it is too late! This is influencer culture. Jessica will like die when she sees this. Like this is Max Nova. I just can't. Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Their mothership conceals itself above our very head. Ready yourself, for they are coming. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Here, me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Because I am, always. Makes for easier living. But... We got a new job lined up from a big hitter at the afterlife. Oh, is it going to be dangerous? Not me. Don't you worry, mi amor. We're bulletproof. See if we can get paper pa page in here. God, I can hear you. Oh, the technology. <laughs> now the real question is, do I... I wonder if I should mute you or at least pull down your audio on my stream so that way you don't get that weird thing where like you hear yourself and start doing the stutter talking. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, because I... I'm... 
Right. So, I, yeah, I just think we uh, we could pull it down a little bit here. Honestly, I could just, now that we're... my head in the clouds. Earth to be! If you turn a blind eye... Hello? Anybody there? <laughs> Anybody there? Vicky, surprise every old ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, Vicky. Oh, wow. So what do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Met a new fixer. He gave me a job. Name's Dexter Deshaun. Known quantity from the afterlife. No denying you're moving up. But something you're not telling me, Vic? Keep your guard up, that's all. I've heard some things about Dex. He's not as chill as he makes himself out to be. Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? 
<laughs> well, it is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Optics, best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now, Jack, in Kuroshi. Whoa, Vic, nothing tops that on the market. Hmm, sounds like it could come in handy then. I gave you my word I'd pay you back, but this might be too rich for my blood. We'll work something out. Right now, I'm just out to make sure you get back in one piece. Eddie's in hand. You peruse and choose while I scan. Let's see what's going on inside.
Mark I, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. I just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. So, what's new in the life of Victor Vector? <sighs> yeah, if I'm being honest, not much. And that's fine with me. I used to live in a world where all that mattered was who's who, what's what, and how's why. And what happened? One day, I just dropped it and never looked back. I'll never be a legend in this town, but been sleeping nights ever since. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know? Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. The scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well.
It ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. And a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. What am I looking at? A mild stim. Should boost neurotransmission in the short term and muffle some of the side effects while the implant takes. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit... It's the big leagues. Don't forget where you came from. Jim. Ah. Jim, who's winning? Hernandez. You know, in the old days, that cripple Malone would have been flat on the boards. Now every last fighter's got extra skull lining. Absorb 75% of every blow. Okay, let's put a pin in that. So, listen then. Got cash riding on this? Nah, I'm just looking. <laughs> it's out of habit more than anything else. Miss it, don't you? Ah. Uh... How's biz going? Uh, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance, and Sokka's back hiring alone mercs. They all gotta have the newest, shiniest implants. Good thing you got Misty here to help. Handles your griping well. Yeah, renting out her shop's the best decision I ever made. You know what? Seems like you're the only person in Night City who's happy with this lot. You get to a certain age, you drop all your illusions. Life just gets easier from there. them by their cold blue eyes. Thank you. 
How's Biz going? Ah, can't complain. Corporals learn to keep their distance. Good thing you got Misty here. Yeah, right now. You know what? You get to a certain age. How'd you describe Watson in one sentence? The Japanese built Kabuki, but the Chinese live there mostly. North side used to be plated in chrome, now it's covered in rust. We have an entire aquarium full of corporals, and that's no metaphor. Know what all that comes out to? One sentence is never enough? That's Watson. Used to be a media, didn't you? Not hard to guess, but I'll give you a point for perceptiveness. Why you stop? Never stopped, really. Information is a weapon B. I just traded in for a larger caliber. See you around. How's Biz going? No. You get to a certain... looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, Anything yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride for you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now, that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say oh, cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. How's biz, Misty? Booming? <sighs> You're the first person to walk in here for two days. And two days ago, it was a pizza guy. Got lost. People in this town, they've lost their spiritual connection. But well, you know, I'm here to serve them, not the other way around. But what they don't... They call cyber... Hey, how well you know Bug exactly? La Mamita got a soft spot for me. <laughs> no, but seriously, she ain't the type you go out and grab a beer with. Don't actually think she got any soft spots anywhere. Or anybody. 
Right. You've been with Misty a while, huh? Yeah, about a year. Why? Just asking. Hey, come on, Mano. You know I was raised right. How's your mom? Shh. Worried about me. Been for a while. Something happened? Started climbing our way up. Got more and more knives out there. Waiting to stab us in the back. Higher stakes, higher risk, my gnome. She can see that. What are you... Uh, later then. What is life without its body? What are the beings of the net if not souls from beyond our plane of existence? I have heard their voices. Let they who yet live never cross that threshold, for their souls will join those ghostly ranks. You heard their voices? What do they say? They spoke not in the language of mortals, no. They howled, screaming in agony, forever removed from their earthly form. Among them was a woman, her voice of ice, Queen Lilith. She was calm, but at the cost of her humanity. You ask, who opened these unholy gates of the abyss? No one's asking. And I answer you, the techno-necromancers of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die right old and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could have had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could have just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped this brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah? Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. 
Corpse don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, to rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. I got a classic tale for you. Psycho Gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Royce guy, what's he like? A straight psychopath, chrome-loving kind. Big club in this town. I'll give you that, except few of its other members. No matter the stakes, would put a friend and associate through an industrial microwave dryer. Apparently, first thing to burst are the eyeballs. Get a nice clear pop, then the rest goes goulash. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter, so she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. That's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. Dexter, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Cortito's a big deal. Literally a nine, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us in a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. Right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> you don't sound thrilled. Royce, what do you know about him? 
He's fucking whack something special. Chucky snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? after. city. Her name's Anna Hamill, and whatever she's investigating, it's made her a lot of enemies. She'd do best to cut it out if you catch my drift. Uh, okay, look, I know how it sounds, but somebody would have taken this gig anyway, right? I don't know. Maybe there's an angle you can play here. Either way, info's attached.
Seabug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. You're V, right? She had me hold the demon for you. It should work on any third gen deck. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some shim soft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way.
Yes? What's up? Borrow? I can't! Of course! Thanks for the chance! I know where I'm gonna strike before I do it. Typical. Knew I'd say that. Here for a fight. Which one of you's my guy? Me! Wasn't expecting a tag team. But whatever, I guess. So, who do I got first? No, no. You don't get it. That body and this one. I'm the same person. So, what? I'm seeing double? I used to be twins. Which you could probably guess. 
Twins had a close bond. They wanted to be closer, stronger. So they installed neural oscillation sticks. And now they're, well, me. One, One person, person two, bodies. two bodies. My bodies do everything together. Everything. You really do everything together. Even under the sheets. I have one girlfriend for both bodies. If that's what you're asking. Shared between both. So, what? One takes waist up and the other's on booty duty? No. She's with one body Monday through Wednesday and the other Wednesday through Sunday. Frick. Whatever. Oh, and if another one of you pops up, I don't mind beating a third ass. You got a sharp tongue, no doubt about it. Let's see how that helps you when fists start flying. So, so can, we can we get, get started? started? Show me what you got. scared I guess it fucked you two up not you two it's just me and where's the sportsmanship sheesh come back when you wise up be waiting <laughs> I don't mind beating a third ass. You got a sharp tongue, no doubt about it. Let's see how that helps you when fists start flying. So, so can, can we, we get, get started? started? Show me what you got.
Four fists are better than two. Feel free to try me again. If you ain't scared.
piss off, slacker. Another fucking reason. My daddy has a better job than your dad. Everything sucks. Here for a pickup. Uh, order number 48. Here, let me just check. 48. Here, I thought monks had to give up all them. Or How's it going? We're gonna buy some new iron. A few dozen pounds. Well, be my fucking guest. day, huh? What's up, Chu? You want some? Hablas español? Excuse you.
Looking a little put out there, input. Interest you in a preem BD? What do you got? What don't we got? Women and men of your dreams. Synaptic acting A-listers, no washed up virtue porn boy toys or blow up dolls here. Oh, tur stuff. It'll grip your heart and blow your nerves right out of your body. Pure bit-based ecstasy. That's why people come here. They really know how to sell it. Not a sales pitch, it's a warning. I'll give you one word, bespoke. Not for everyone's synapses. Think you can handle it? Bespoke? Damn, that sounds promising. I get it, I'm in. Mm -hmm. well, a couple of things you need to know first. <clears throat> Severe penalties for any unauthorized recording. No drugs, no groping. Someone catch your eye? You do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. I really look that green to you, like I don't know. Mm-hmm, door's open. Have fun, input. Welcome to Lizzie's. My, what a sweet little face you have. Kiss my dad's bunk! generous when I get the answers I'm looking for. Appreciate the gesture, truly. But I'm afraid I don't get paid to talk. Opposite. It's all right, Mateo. She walked in. V? Sense on? Only tequila I drink. <laughs> How you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on, know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. What can I point to? Really? Why don't you just tell me to go? I just told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional. Effective and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling.
You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? V? Let's talk biz. I mean, it's nice, but I didn't come here to get my ego stroked. No, you're here to gain some knowledge. The life-changing kind. Well, now you got me all excited. Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arasaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Classy Corp Hotels? Yeah, no. Out of my price range. Hmm. Well, the decor's to die for. As you'll see for yourself. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What? So Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Tell me you're one of them? So we're not jumping the corp. We're jumping Yorinobu Arasaka himself. <sighs> Yorinobu is a puppet. He lost all his cards years ago when he failed to do daddy's bidding. Saburo's had Yori's balls in a vice for years. He might just turn the screw and crush them outright if he learns his son's up to no good again. Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now, this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Wait, Mutual Netwatch is mixed up in this. Netwatch provides net security for all corporations and collects eddies in the millions for it. But in this day and age, everyone's in the game and no one can afford to be a saint. To win, one has to go all in. So what's your Nobu do to walk away with? Unimportant, you focus on the biochip. What could cyberspace's watchers and protectors offer him? Intelligence on his enemies? That doesn't matter in the least. Because you'll make sure the transaction never happens, and I get the chip. Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. One more thing. Data that's on the chip. 
What is it? Irrelevant, entirely. We're talking about data Yorinobu snuck out of Arasaka. What's more, he wants to pass it on to Netwatch. Sounds pretty damn relevant to me. Listen, V. The relic. That's my concern. Your concern? Earning a paycheck. Just get the job done. I'll make sure your bank accounts are sated. What else do you know about Yorinobu? Quite a bit, actually. He studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. <laughs> Probably didn't have a choice in the matter, come to think of it. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu vanished to chase his own dreams. Cut himself off from the corp for years. Long story short, though the black sheep returned, the bitter taste remained. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has always walked his own path, and so has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits. Jacking Would off you, to in those boxes. Okay, no, 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 no. It can be a very uh, useful I tool. I do not want to hear it. For analyzing details, human perception, even boosted, doesn't grasp exactly what you need. So what's on the tape? Yorinobu's suite, the glorious interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Mm -hmm. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy, best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Model this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? I thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that would support additional scan. Jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop the inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. 
Ever taken a dip before? What do you mean by raw? How does this differ from the ready-mades? Huh. Ready-mades, provided they're well-made, should feed you feelings and impressions you'd never have the chance to experience yourself in real space. But it's mass market shit, so it's pre-crafted, hard-coded, fenced in, and manageable. A raw one? Well, it's more like a virtue enviro. Get to move around, look at things in detail. Editors use those layers to fish for juicier emotes and impulses, then use them to pad the BDs that go to market. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going.
Gotta create your sensory profile first. A what profile now? Model of your perceptions and emotional responses. Need to adjust that so the raw BD won't overwhelm you. If I don't, best case scenario, you'll get nauseous as soon as you're in. Probably barf like you would in a shoddy virtue environment. Mm-hmm. And worst case? Your synapses sizzle like locusts in a deep fryer. But we're not about to let that happen. <laughs> okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Get a lot of requests like this? All the time. But it's usually stuff the girls scroll at the club. I take that and do some routine porn tuning. Crank up the orgasms? More like cut out all the other shit. Fucking business as usual for these guys. Their minds want to grocery lists, spouses' birthdays, late bills, whatever. But even then, you can refigure things, mold the emotions into something unique, unforgettable. So, I can't complain. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where can we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Besides, won't take a sec. Got something here. Shouldn't be perfect. What'd you choose? Corner store hold up in Haywood. Real amateurs. Don't even know where I got it. Suits our needs perfectly, though. You ready? Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing. Be diving in. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. See you kissing the flooring! Money! Now, or I will fucking drop you, I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Uh, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Ah! Slow, deep breaths. Your cortisol and adrenaline spiked, but the soft activated your hormone blockers. Nothing happened. You're alive and well. A flash of intense shock. I can still feel it, I remember. Fuck, that last second. Could have warned me how much it hurts to die. Trust me, real death hurts much, much more. Not so sure about that. You'll be fine. Got everything set up? Let's switch over to editing mode. Sever the link to the BD Roller's sensory array, you'll be able to look around freely. Whole scene's yours. Full cam control in analysis mode, so move around, zoom in and out, whatever else you come up with. Think of it as your own little sandbox. So, analysis mode, you control playback. Can even pause when you feel the need. Then you use the editor console to unpause. Try it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in.
Snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. Dream as hell, right? Well, that's not all. You can speed things up or rewind, whatever you like. Give it a try. Rewind, roll it back to the top. All good, neat. Now try fast forwarding a bit. Plan simple. Do nothing Okay. You can also reset the recording. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Try it. Now for some fun. This here's why you came in the first place. In analysis mode, you get to view and even scan details of the enviro recorded by the BD roller. Focus on the heat, the gun this gonk gets from his buddy at the beginning. Now scan it. Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out, and we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, Everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Okay, right here. Analysis mode, you can ferret out background noise and conversations if the roller got close enough. This tech records everything, every little detail, even the sights and sounds the roller was never aware of. To see the sources of the recorded sensory signals, switch to the audio layer in the editor. Go ahead and try that now. Okay, good. Now you should see several sound signatures in the store. Choose one and hone in on it. So, any thoughts? Unbelievable. Seriously, like what's happening right next to me. Yeah, it's how BD recording implants work. They pick up everything, all the elements in the background. Then an editor tweaks them, makes them pop. Keep playing with the sound, explore it a bit. We'll move on when you get bored. Go restock. I'll take the register. And a couple of how about you suck a bag of dicks, okay? okay? Today are two flavors, Cody and no. Serpent. Everybody! Sometimes you can analyze extra layers in the raw stuff the roller's cyberware picked up. Like what? Ev's got Kiroshi optics that grab infrared, meaning you should be able to grab heat signatures from her recordings. Huh. Hello, nice. Now let's wait till the guy punches out the gonk at the counter. Scanning works on peeps, too. Walk up to the wounded chick. Try scanning her. All right, next thing. Scroll forward to the part where our artist gets a lead injection. Now, or I will fucking drop you. I swear to God. Now, fuck you. shot him and he never saw it coming but you will here it comes my favorite part of the game see the blinking thing over the entrance surveillance cam must have caught our shooter you'll see in a sec cam feeds to the screen behind the clerk roll back to where the screens in the kids field of vision then scan it Chumba shot him. Probably planned to all along. Must have got a nice slice of cred on the black market for a BD like this. BD freaks are ready to pay a preem for a real flatline. Anyway, if you've seen enough, you can exit. Yeah, 
impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Evelyn, I won't get a damn thing out of this without T-Bug. Judy, please. Ev, he wants to bring a runner in? What part of that don't you understand? How do I know she'll only perch in this footage? Observe, not fuck with anything. Me. I'm your guarantee. Yeah, right. Help me. This one last time. I promise everything will work out, just like we planned. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and the vet. Hey, V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Kanpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Kanpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Judy and Evelyn, they're chill. They're helping me work through this BD. Uh-huh. All right. You gonna tell me what this is about? Listen, I need your help. Got no clue what to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking it to your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my requests now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay. Connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire up, Judy. All right, B. Eyes open. Got to find out where your Nobu's keeping the relic. Fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. for good cause. Here in a drone, ventilation and cooling, servers, gotta be. Fancy doodads in here need to be controlled. Comfortable. I need a minute. Listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. I need a 
minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks. My father's a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. You will listen to this. Sabroy, an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must no, provide them. In. Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. Sorry to make you wait. Business can be stupid. Mm, it wasn't long. Not even long enough for me to grow bored. Is everything all right? You seem tense, edgy. A moment, it will pass. Mm, I can get to work on that. Just one condition. You wish to make demands of me? Only one, focus. Got any candy? Left step was pretty fun last time. Bedroom, nightstand. I've got an idea. Be right back. Just a sec. Looking for the perfect thing. Ah, oh, you'll like this. What love is... Firmware's fresh, but saw excited birds chirping on a BBS. Something about lots of seeds falling through this sieve. Let me generate keys. I can forge their six. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Mucho more than enough. Just need access to their subnet. Nothing will change. 
Left. Steph was pretty. Automated turrets, latest scanner model. Systems all connected to the server. Can you shut them off? Externally, no way. Gotta get in, check out how they link into the system first. Mm-hmm, looks like all their security systems are linked to the hotel subnet. We need the flathead. No other way to shut down these systems. Can't get around them ourselves? Nope, at least I'm fresh out of ideas. Safety's on. Good to know, though. Once you're in there, don't forget about that iron. Until you burn. Manual details a special tip-controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Conditioning, standard model for hotels of this caliber. Tip matches that stipulated in the docks, but no way the chip's hiding there. Too risky. Tip fluctuations, risk of damage. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like Mr. Arasaka had something to celebrate. Really think you'll find the chip in there? No way. Tim's too low. Could fluctuate. Nice try, though. Just a fancy ass fridge. Tip doesn't match the guidelines. Won't find a thing here. Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the box. Yorinobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Judy, relax. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, city will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Judy. Really. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. V, one sec. Let's walk. Well? What do you think? Intel on Yorinobu, the chip, the BD from Kenpeki. Winds are right. Plan's perfect. A job like this comes one in a million. Hmm. Thanks. Now the punchline, please. Just sounds too good to be true. What's the catch? Cold feet. Are you looking to get out of it? I want to know if you're really in control here. 
You're not sending me into the sort of shit I can't wait out of. V, I have zero reasons to haze you. We're in this together. Really. Trust me that I got this. You not worried? Our sock will flag and screen anyone who's had dealings with Yorinobu. Oh, they'll have a long list then. Packed full of big names. Much bigger than mine. You tell me who they check first. Corpo hotshots and cutthroats? Or a little bedroom plaything like me? I think I see how you know so much about Yorinobu. It's simple. Men like Pillow talk a bit too much. So it's just about the sex? Biz. And biz only. Sure Yorinobu doesn't expect this kind of move from you. He's got no idea, trust me. He's too busy with Netwatch to give me that kind of attention. Besides, even if some suspicion takes root in his mind, it shouldn't matter. He won't react in time. And that's something you'll handle, right? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. You want to fuck over our fixer? I knew something was up. Dex is a middleman. And a useless one at this point. Evelyn, you don't mess with fixers. That's the one rule every merc in this city knows. And actually follows. But if we're smart... Doesn't matter. A mistake like that will cost you a rep. And without a rep, you're nobody. You sure you want to do this? Better ask yourself that question. Do you want to spend the rest of your days blasting scabs? Or become a legend overnight? Your choice. Well, what do you think? What do you think? I agree. There'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy.
are things looking, Mr. V? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Turns out everyone's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Right, Mom. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that ship without that bot. To work then, Mr. V. Feel like shit. Little head of the dog. Yeah, yeah. Give me a sec. Four a.m. last night. Gina and me sitting at the bar, and she's rattling on about the bank stuff. Yada yada yada. All the while. I'm angling to get a word in, because I need her to cover for me that afternoon when I go to what? my daughter up from preschool. It's hard to well, say. This week, you know. for sure, okay? This, this yeah, 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 yeah. All right, all right, all right. Mm-hmm. Ma, all right. What a sweet little thing. Get this. Shum says he wants real fun, real flesh, punching animal-like. No virtue shit. He knows it's not allowed, but he'll pay trip. So Gina, what she does? Yeah? What's up in the big world? Well, what? He thinks trolls to some fancy ass fool. And Gina goes to were to get us the fuck out of here. Thank you. 
that new one? Not yet. Hey there, baby. I can give you what no brain dance ever could. Seen her around. Depends. Your cop? Nope. The lady I'm looking for is... That tooth-faced bitch. You want a confession out of me? It's gonna cost you. I don't do nothing for free. No way. Mm, whatever. Nowhere to find me. Snap out of it. 
Heads up, compadre. ¿Qué quieres? Oh, yeah. You know her? No. Didn't even look. No need. Don't know her. Looking for a change. Come on, then. Time to tinker. Okay, what do you want? Little something, something. Oh. I'm ready. You ever seen this woman? I sell food, and and I just want to keep selling food. That is all I will say. These shrimp fresh. They just arrived, straight from the best aqua farm in Night City. Aqua farm? Where do you think? From Pacifica? That trash from the sea no good. Make you sick. Stomach's rumbling. Let's see what you got. Oh. Threads, or did you borrow them? Who the hell's asking? I'm a backer. Well, well. Two nomads crossing paths in Night City. How can I help? Looking for this lady. No work. The badge? Sure do. She's got a room in this here motel. Right over there. Perfect. Thanks. Don't mention it.
Watch where you're walking. Drop this investigation. It's in your best interest. That a threat? I'd remind you, you're the one in the fucking crosshairs. Hey, easy. I just want to help. Help? Phonic implant must be fried. I think you men intimidate. Just to end your investigation. Really pissed off the wrong people. Which people? Tell me what fucking people! Your buddies at the NCPD set you up. Fucking... I knew it! Robert Kowalski and Bill Adams! Motherfuckers! Let it go. It's not worth it. Yeah. Know what? I'm not letting scumbags get me killed! Fuck them! Fuck this job! Fuck this city! So, Anna, what's next for you? What? We choose all of a sudden? the hell do you care? I dropped the case like you wanted. You can fuck off, Merc. Got nothing to say to you, June.
the silver tongue, eh? Glad we got it all worked out. Contract closed. plummeted by 63% over the last 15 years alone. It appears Q2 will remain the uncontested leader in the energy sector for the foreseeable future. In mainland Europe and the Mediterranean, the humanitarian crisis has grown worse. According to the latest report, as much as 20% of the continent is no longer suitable for human habitation. Temperatures in Sicily, Malta, and the Cyclades have reached as high as 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Air pollution uh, in Poland, there you are. Syria, and Romania now exceeds the continent's average by more than 2,000 percent. Let me hear what you squared away. Is that an arch? Oh, damn. What a beaut. Yeah, I got her cheap, too. Your set job dividend. Hmm. Don't know how you could scrape together enough for that beast. Even you. Well, I, I took out a loan, but muy pequeñito. But I mean, it's totally worth it. I'd swap out that tailpipe if I were you. Really? Why? What that growl does is tell people a mile out that Jackie's rumbling their way. I'd tinker with the fuel injection, too. Upload a new map, and slap on some thermal tape till you cobble together enough eddies to get that exhaust modded. Uh-huh. Z-Book show any sign of life? You two talk? She's up to date, fired up to work with Dex. Preparing already. They're familiar, you know? 
Worked together before Dex took his break. Been waiting long. My mother always said patience pays off, so... So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the gang goons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Híjole. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. What you waiting for? Stout here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up. V, what you waiting for? Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Nuh-uh, not on the horn. Let's meet. Cut a deal. A deal? Fine. V, what First you exit for? off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm channel under the overpass. Meet you there. V, what you waiting for? Ring a ding ding, Chom. Gotta get this done. What you waiting for? Bring it. Ding. Ding, Chom. Gotta get this done. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Uh, cozy place. They could use a few plants, though. Oh, yeah. They look damn well prepared. I don't think I've ever seen security.
Pretty like this in the Chow factory. Uh, gear from the Jack Convoy. Gotta be. Must have been all over it like maggots on dead meat. That's Militech, all right. Cycle boards scrummed out with military grade hardware worth millions. Anti-personnel mine. Directional shrapnel spitter. My favorite. Subtle. T0 D12. Call the Flathead. And? The hell you care? The guy I represent already paid brick for. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah, you talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. Tech's not gonna come looking for it. Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove 
The serial number lived in access logs using our son. What's yours is yours. Need to see it. Sue yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive aversion with a Raven controller. Pin down prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this. Fully integrated link too. So when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings. Mm -hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Raven's not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Ha! Of course not. Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah, Raven's our baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we gotta sell that shit. Take it. Three. Sure. Yeah. Let's see your cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Fuck brick then. Let's cut a new deal. a discount. A discount? Fuck. Uh, you know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half a Pacifica? <laughs> yeah, he is. No, he's alive, well, and kicking. He sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? You're short, Sirk! I don't wait! Bang. Bring it, cocksuckers!
production line. Plus, I thought you loved it. Really no other way.
logo manifests. Stamped LOA. LOA? Lost on arrival. Someone knew they'd slip out of Militech's grip as soon as they crossed the border into the state. Signed by one Anthony Gilchrist. <laughs> we have our mole.
choice. Probably wants to take him out on his own. Fucking lone wolf style.
getting soft on me now.
Bravo V. Let's get out of here.
begging, no debt, no corporal strings attached. And the flathead's ours. <laughs> That's the way to do biz, V. Enough to argue. Yeah, because I'm right. Always. Nice of you to notice. Ah, I love this town. A city of endless opportunity and brotherly hate. But if you got the cojones and you know how to use them, you can do damn near anything. Unless you catch a boat, stray or not. Even then, you go out with a bang, right? And the street'll talk. The street'll remember. It's a win-win. You know, you can make heaps more eddies as a motivational speaker. What a dick way. What now, Jack? What now? And now I go back. Find Misty. Do something to make me feel alive again. They could have shot us up good back there. No two ways about it. Catch a fright back there, but you wouldn't make it back. <laughs> Shit like that don't cross my mind. But I am grateful for coming through. Don't forget to let Dex know we got his toy for him. Ahí lo veo. Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Did it without Melotech holding my hand. Didn't want to risk it. So how'd you get that cat Royce to hand over the flathead? Only way I know that always works. Brute force. You got some balls, Mr. B. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. See you, Mr. V.
Don't walk.
todavía tengo planes para esta noche. Sí, mamá. Te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, ma. Damn, about time, Holmes. Looked like you just ran a marathon. Did something happen? Years of merc work, and yet still sweat like a roasted pig when I talk to my ma. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! The afterlife. Going far and wide, that name. Oh, yeah? Some of the Nomad Clan's biggest jobs are scored right here. Don't surprise me. Ain't no better place than Night City to land a gig. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. When proper burials were still a thing. And who might you clowns be? We're friends of Dexter Deshaun. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. No idea.
we're up. See that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You gonna have a drink or not? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a special cerveza and a chili garnish. Of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? It's nothing. Mind blowingly spectacular fashion. Mid out would be best. Beautiful tradition. Night City. And the afterlife. <laughs> Who else can I drink here? All on the menu. Except there's a spot missing. Morgan Blackhead, right? <laughs> it's true. Morgan's yet to make up his mind if he's dead or still kicking. <laughs> Nobody knows what happened to him. I think he's still alive. It's been years. Why not? Look at Rogue. People from that era, a species unto themselves. Steep price to pay for a drink. Hey, everyone's gotta go sometime, right? Why not in style? Oh, and by the way, the name's Jackie Wells. You wanna write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer. Oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. Ha-ha! <laughs> I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Dex a regular. You, now. you come here a lot. A sort of long hiatus, matter of fact. Didn't show his face for nearly two years. Tomcat's gotta walk his own path, right? Well, wherever he walked, he knocked a few pounds off. Guess they weren't delivering that pizza I mentioned before. Break a leg. Thanks. How do you know? My job? That's what Look around. Big perks for their reps. Gossip rivaling that of schoolgirls, that's how. Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Mm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. That's the pinche tipo. That's right. Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Ah, finally! First time in real space. And the flathead. Let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Thanks for your help back at the scav haunt. A few reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> city Hall should be fucking thanking us. Shh. 
Sweet booze. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're going to be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Well, as I could have, I guess. Walked around Compecky Plaza inside from that raw BD she scrolled. Mm-hmm. Bug already filled me in. So you know the target? Yorinobu Arisaka, the Emperor's son and heir apparent. Mm-hmm. Man with the millionaire name and no talent to back it up. Evelyn Parker's special friend? So she just want to see what's good, or was there something else? Parker chick? I don't know. Sent out mixed signals, so I got mixed feelings. One night, sipping champ paradise with the Orinobu. Next night, chatting it up with regulars at Lizzie's. Worlds don't match up. Struck me, too. You saying we putting two and two together and getting five? Some part of the equation's missing, then. Clearly. That's why y'all gotta fix her. Anyone try to fuck you? They first gotta fuck their way through Dex to Sean's 300-pound ass. Anything else? <laughs>